Welcome back. He is a Hall of Fame speaker and recognized by Toastmasters International as one of the outstanding five speakers in the world. She is his wife, best friend, and COO of Willy Jolly Worldwide. Together they've experienced the world and have co-authored a marriage book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, which is now a global bestseller. Today they are going to talk about how to never argue again in marriage. We welcome Dr. Willy Jolly and his wife, Dee Taylor Jolly, back to Virginia this morning. Thank Good you. to be back live and in living color here in the studio. It's been three years and wow. we have been able to do virtual, but we're glad to be here with you and all our friends here in Richmond, Virginia and the other counties because people in Charlottesville, my family, they see it in all the places. And, and I'm from Hampton. And she's from Hampton, Virginia. So. We thank all of our friends for joining us and thank you especially for being back with us. It is magical to have you in person. Dr. Jolly, I gotta ask, I read in the notes. Yes. 40 years you've yep, been married. Almost 40 40 years. Haven't had an argument in 35. That's right. So was there some, you know, was the, the, the gauntlet dropped at five years of marriage where you're like, yeah, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not going to Chinese food. Uh, well, here, it's, <laughs> the, the story is about Chinese food and how we had a major, our last major argument over Chinese food. Something so trivial. Yeah. But, you know, people break up over little things that become big that are not fixed. And so ours was that we were married. Many times people ask in interviews, you've never had an argument? No, we haven't had an argument in 35 years. Those first couple of years were like World War III. But we got some wise principles and lessons from some mentors. And I like to tell people in our books and my program, two ways to get to any goal, mentors and mistakes. Both will get you there. One just gets you there with less headaches, heartaches, and not subside your head. Mm -hmm. So you need mentors. We got some mentors who told us what to do to stop arguing, and we use what they told us, and it worked, and then we put it in our book. And now people around the globe are calling, saying it transformed our marriage. Ten simple steps that have helped. We discovered communication, sex, money. Those are the three big boulders. The major issues. Those are the boulders that break up. Communica and communication was the primary problem with the food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The particular situation that brought us through to end up with a book. Yeah, so look, quick synopsis. We went to get some Chinese food. Her brother was coming. She thought I should order more. I'm cheap. He was cheap. I'm cheap. <laughs> I, I, I make a dollar holler. I'm not, I, I am, I am uh, very clear about that. And. She and I was I, concerned about being embarrassed. And we got, in a, uh, we got a disagreement which escalated into an argument and escalated to me hollering. She said, I will leave you. Mm. And I said, Beep. and I bought whatever she wanted. But that night. He's wise. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but that night we had way too much food and then we talked about it. And she said, I don't like people are hollering. My at me. daddy never raised his voice to me. My brother and I always got along. The concept of someone being loud and ugly does not. Trends. And I said, never would do that again. And I said, I don't like people threatening to leave me. And so we made some rules of engagement. That's what we talk about. You create some rules of engagement. How you're going to talk this. to each other, how you will communicate civilly to each other, and how you even would disagree. when you're not agreeing. Yeah, you know, how you agree. I, I heard some mega kernels in, yeah. in what you shared. And maybe these were breadcrumbs you were giving us, but there was a big reveal there in yeah. you were embarrassed. It yes. wasn't about the Chinese food. Right? Yeah, it wasn't about yeah, the food. We hot and sour, whatever. No. Right. Right. You were no. embarrassed. There was a core feeling there. And yes. then, of course, that was not your preferred style of communication. Right. I was thinking before we started the conversation, well, is the way to do this to find a partner from the get-go who has a similar communication style? No. No. No, no, that's not. You. No matter what, you got two different people. We tell people marriages are not just love relationships, they're mergers between two different organizations. Two different cultures. Cultures who come in. And Family you, styles. And you have to find a way to work through it. So we take people through the book step by step by step, the 10 steps that will help you to create a great loving marriage and relationship. In fact, we want to give everybody a free chapter from the book. The biggest chapter is communication. And we give that away free. Go to jollymarriage.com, jollymarriage.com. Get the free chapter and, and use it. Read it together. And if you get the book, get two copies. Get two copies because we want you to read it at the same time and that you will grow at the same time. Last but not least, we want to encourage everybody when they go to Jolly Marriage, watch our new TED Talk on this whole subject of how to never argue again in marriage. So before we, before we this is great stuff here, quick question people yeah. really want to know is, okay, great, you've never argued, but what happens when a disagreement starts? What's a tip you can give us right now 
to catch it before it uh, turns into great, money? Great question, Corey. Here's the secret. Most arguments start as a little problem like this and then expands because you don't have what you just said. Here's what it is. Rather than attack each other, attack the problem. Gang up on the problem. What we do is we don't attack each other. We gang up on the problem, whatever it is, uh, whether it's financial, whether it's dealing with the uh, family. So it's like throwing it out on the table. And how do we fix and it? And saying, now, what are you thinking? Like, what are you thinking? This and is what we I'm talk thinking. about it together. Communication do goes back to communication. That? And remember that if you can communicate well, your love life gets better. You communicate well, your money life gets better. And so that's why we give that chapter away, because we want to save a million marriages, enhance a million marriages, and that's why we wrote the book. And it is cheaper to stay together. Cheaper to keep her, baby. Cheaper to keep her. <laughs> Dividing the wealth is not a good thing. It is about balance. <laughs> Thank you both so much. Hey, look, go to winwithwilly.com, winwithwilly.com. All my websites are there, and uh, we got a lot of great new things coming and a lot of good stuff. And money nights. Every Monday night we do a, a marriage show on Jolly Marriage, on A Jolly Marriage on Facebook, A Jolly Marriage on Instagram, and A Jolly Marriage on Twitter. You can watch it every Monday night, 9 o'clock. All right. We'll leave it there. Much. Bam! <laughs>